Unit Four: Communication in the Workplace, December seventh. Angela is giving a presentation. Good afternoon, everyone, and thank you for coming to my seminar on workplace communication. As the human resources manager for Crawford and Sons, I've dealt with plenty of conflicts between employees. Many of these conflicts wouldn't have even taken place if there had been better communication beforehand. As managers, we should always consider every aspect of a situation before we take any action, and make sure we confirm our information before we make a decision. If we act before we have sufficient information, we may end up creating a problem rather than fixing one. Another thing we should do is focus on the employee's performance issues, not on their personalities. We need to be discreet, so that what we communicate doesn't imply that our subordinates are lazy or deliberately making mistakes. This often results in people becoming defensive, rather than trying to solve the problem at hand. There's one last thing to remember when we're communicating with a group: praise in public. Criticize in private. Later, after the presentation. Hi, Angela. That was a really useful presentation. I learned some valuable lessons in communication. Thanks, Bobby. Did you have a question for me? Yes. This seminar was for managers, but I think there are some things that employees in non-managerial positions could learn about communication as well. You're right, Bobby. In fact, I am planning to hold a seminar on that sometime next month. I'll keep you informed. <laughs>